In this video, we're going to look at what I think is a revolutionary painting handle. Hi guys, Mike back again, and in this video, we are going to look at a revolutionary painting handle. Um, I don't know if any of you will have come across this yet. I know there's a whole host of painting handles out there on the market, uh, but I picked this one up recently. Uh, well, not so recently, actually. I've been using it for years, but uh, I'm not sure if it's a, a, a best kept secret. I'm not entirely sure. So I wanted to show you what I use. Um, I, I, again, I mean, I was looking at the GW painting handle. Um, there's, a, there's a new painting handle on Kickstarter at the moment from Redgrass Games. Uh, and there's a whole variety of um, 3D printed painting handles out there that you can pick up on, on Facebook and um, eBay, etc, etc. I wanted to extol the virtues of this revolutionary paint handle. Um, and I'm not going to keep you in suspense any longer because I can't contain myself. Um, this new revolutionary painting handle is blue tack on a cork. Genius. Okay. I want to show you how it works for me and maybe it's something that you might want to um, want to start using too. Now my journey for painting handles started m many 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 years ago and um, I mean the painting handle is a relatively new thing uh, that's commercially available certainly from Games Workshop and um, I did look at the GW paint handle and I ran into a well ran into a bit of a conundrum really I mean on the face of it it's a it's a decent item um I, I like the look of it uh the the only thing that winds me up about it a little bit is that you secure it by the base you know you have to sort of clip it in and 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 it sort of encompasses the base so it's it's stuck to this painting handle it was spring loaded um and then you can paint your miniature fantastically well lovely uh, but the only thing is that they kind of sort of sell it in a way that you know you don't you don't have to touch the miniature you don't have to pick the miniature up to paint it because it's attached to the painting handle what you do have to do or what you would have to do is actually hold the miniature after you've painted it to be able to paint the base or the rim of the base at the very least um so uh, anyway so this paint system none of that none of that shenanigans what i'm going to show you is this right the trouble i ran into was that this gw paint handle um it's cost five pounds and, and you know not not too bad i suppose but then i wanted to paint 15 assault marines that was my trouble i wanted to paint 15 assault marines at the same time and um you can see where i'm going with this aren't you so five pounds for one handle it's not so bad but i'm going to need 15 handles if i want to paint all of these assault marines at the same time uh, and that's going to cost me 75 pounds if i go directly to games workshop i might get 10 percent off if i go to a friendly local but even still I'm looking at upwards of 65 quid just for painting handles. And I'd rather spend 65 quid on miniatures. But anyway, that's just me. So revolutionary paint system, blue tack on a cork. Now the cork I use um, are from, from wine bottles. Would you believe it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I uh, collect them from my friends. You know, if people uh, drink wine, I don't drink wine myself, but uh, I know people that do. Uh, people are out there who do drink wine and uh, when they finish with their corks, they give them to me. Uh, so they're free. And then I go to the pound shop and I buy a whole big batch of blue tack like this, a whole big strip of it, and it costs a pound. So upwards of 65 quid for 15 painting handles or free corks plus a pound for blue tack. It's a winner for me. Anyway, so this is what I'm doing with my painting handles. Right, I also should mention that I did invest in a Lazy Susan. So when I'm painting my assault marines, when I'm painting 10 marines or 15 marines or whatever it might be, I can stick all of the corks onto the Lazy Susan and spin them around. So when I come to paint the miniatures, I can uh, pick up this guy and then paint him and I can stick him back down. And then I can move to the next one, move to the next one, move to the next one, move to the next one. And it's just... I mean, it works for me at least anyway. So I think the geniusness of this system is that there is blue tack, not just on the top of the cork to secure your miniature, but on the bottom of the cork to secure it to the Lazy Susan. And I just want to show you something. You, are, you, you might think I'm making it up. You might think I am. It's camera trickery. You might think it's special effects. 
they stick on the Lazy Susan. They stay there and they don't come off. I'm just gonna let that sink in for a moment and then I'll carry on. So the cork has got blue tack, like I said, on the bottom and the top. And on the Lazy Susan, you can spin this round, you can spin it round, you can spin it round. So I'm gonna show you how the cork actually works now because I know that's what, you've, what you're here for. So we'll just use one miniature as an example. So we've got this guy and um, you'll see, oh God, hang on a minute. Let's roll the sleeves up to show we mean business. Roll the sleeves up, okay. You'll notice that the, um, the cork is easily held in either hand. It's ambidextrous. You could hold it in your right hand if you're a left-handed painter. I'm a right-handed painter myself, so I hold it in my left hand and I can paint perfectly well. You'll notice, as I've said before, the ingenuity of having blue tack on the bottom of the cork so it sticks to the Lazy Susan. And also, most importantly, blue tack on the top of the cork so the base can stick to that cork and the miniature doesn't fall off. I could do that all day and it wouldn't fall off. See, it's not coming off. It's not coming off. So that's the ingenuity of the blue tack. And again, I mean, I think, I think occasionally you do want to go to pop along to your pound shop and buy a strip for a pound and replace the blue tack because sometimes it does get covered in paint and the plate does compromise the uh, adhesion, the stickiness of the blue tack, but not today. Anyway, you'll notice, like I said, that the cork is is uh, is is either for a left-handed or right-handed painter. You'll notice as well that it's um, I can grip it in my hand. You'll notice as well that I've got a full 360 degree motion on that cork. So as I'm painting this miniature, I can turn it 360 degree. And not just clockwise, you can go back the other way. I know, I'm blowing your minds. So, you've got 360 degree clockwise and anti-clockwise movement. You've got blue tack on the top and the bottom. You've got miniatures that don't fall off. And you've got a system where you can stick these miniatures to Lazy Susan or a bit of board or whatever you use and they stay there. I prefer the Lazy Susan because I, I like spinning them around and I like being able to access my models. I go one to the next, to the next, to the next, sort of, you know, my kind of uh, um, factory line type painting, you know, to the next, to the next, to the next. I don't know what else to say. Revolutionary. If you um, need any hints, tips, um, advice about painting handles, about what I do, about the system I use, um, about the type of wine you might want to drink to be able to access the corks, um, about the uh, the pound shops that I go into to get my blue tack, um, Lazy Susan access or, you know, purchasing. I can tell you where I got that from too. So let me know what you think about this new style revolutionary paint handle that's a fraction of the cost of all of the ones out there and, um, and doesn't I think, quite nicely, compromise your ability to be able to paint the rim of the base at the very end. It's like the finishing touch, isn't it? Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Catch you on the next one.